What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I want to show you how to add a subsection to your Unbounce page so that it's easier for you to organize the elements and move them or edit them if you need to. So here is our Unbounce page that we've been working on since the start. Let's suppose I have these pointers under what we do. And if something changes, I don't want to have to be I don't want to have to move each one individually. I would like to place them into this one container subsection and move the subsection if I have to. So this is pretty simple. There's only four, but what if you have 10 pointers? What if you have pictures with the pointers? What if you have other stuff, right? You don't want to have to move everything or, you know, if you're more advanced, you click this, you shift everything and then you move it. But what if you don't want to do that? Is there an easier way? And there is, and that's by adding a subsection. And the way we do that is we add a box. So a subsection is really just a box. And as you can see here, it even goes in order. So it goes section and then box, okay, which is basically a subsection. So what, what you're gonna do is add a box. Now, if you put a box on top of this, as you can see, nothing is going to happen, right? Um, you can still move the box. So what you have to do is you have to put this text on top of the box, which, which, which will basically, um, add it into the container, okay? So that's what we're going to do. Um, the one thing we do have to do with this box though is make sure the opacity is at zero so that it's completely transparent and remove any border. So right now the border is one. So first thing we're gonna do is remove it and we're going to remove opacity that way it's completely transparent. And as you can see it like that, but if I move it here and then I decide to move the box, as you can see, we'll just move the box. So in order for this to work, you have to move the elements in it, not just move the box on top of the elements, okay? So once I select these elements here, for instance, and I move them inside my box, which I now can't see uh, unless I actually drag it and then it's kind of outlined, I can move it here. Now when I move the box, boom, right? You see that the whole box moves super easy, super effective way to kind of organize everything, keep it in one place. For those of you that watched my video on mobile optimization, a subsection or a box is considered like a section. So if you move these elements out of the box here, that will also change your mobile view. As you can see, changes have affected. Now, if I move it inside the cell, uh, inside this cell, this section, as you can see, the mobile view does not get affected. But if I move it inside here, it will be affected because the box is considered a completely different section. So keep that in mind that you still have to click control um, if you are on Windows or the Apple symbol if you're on Mac, if you want to move elements out of this so it doesn't affect the other view. But that's pretty much it. So you create the box, you add the elements in it, and it's, it creates the subsection for you. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, you name it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.